the Joe Rogan experience. They figured right. out a way to grow meth um, with plants. They figured out a, a way to make meth with plants. This is a new thing. They haven't been able to do this before. Meth had always been done with, uh, which is another thing we need to talk about, um, Sudafed. <sighs> what a good conversation that yes. is. <laughs> um, but finish Pseudo the thought on this ephedrin. one, though. Um, they used to, when you go to, uh, in California at least, say if you got a cold and you want to buy some strong over the counter cold meds, you have to give your driver's license. And the re and they only sell you a little bit. The reason being is because people used to just buy everything off the shelf, throw it into a basket, bring it up to the counter, and they would use that stuff to make meth with because it's one of the ingredients. You right. can actually boil it all down. I don't know the process, but you can make meth out of cold medication. Well, these fucking guys have figured out how to do this shit with plants now. Okay, so but that's, this is that's but what this we is were going to get to in a minute. We're going to yeah. get to. We'll get to that. Go, go to that. Yeah, go to that. Yeah, See, okay, right, plant-based really meth is the next frontier of Afghanistan's drug trade. So investigators have uh, uncovered a burgeoning local trade in the production of methamphetamine using a mountain shrub. <sighs> See, like now, let me ask you this question because I'm a little torn on this next one, but I'm of the belief that if you like, let's say you legalize lower level uppers or amphetamines, okay? So let's say you yes. have a more benign version of all of these kinds of drugs that are legal and available. Well, we do. It's called Adderall. No, 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 but you still have to go to a doctor and get a prescription right. for that. I'm talking about over-the-counter. Right. Okay? So do you think that, because I think that would not fully eliminate the market for the much harder stuff, but it would, I think, eliminate a majority of that market because if somebody... Yes. Right, because if somebody goes and gets, you know, a more safer alternative, that might not be as strong, but you can go get a safer alternative or get a bunch of a safer alternative, um, then, yeah, why wouldn't you choose that over doing, like, uh, Crocodile, the one yes. that melts off your skin if you yeah, do it for, like, a that's year. that's like a heroin one. That's like a heroin the one, but... The speed ones are the ones that are interesting because they're productivity drugs. And that brings us to Trump. Let's do it. This is so, so much fun. This, there's a there's a photograph of him. It's a classic photograph because it's after I love Mexicans. Yeah, he was talking <laughs> shit about uh, you know the wall and it's all rapists and murderers. That, that. I think this was Cinco de Mayo, if I remember correctly. So he's eating a taco bowl, and the bowl says. I mean, he says, I love Hispanics, I think. And I remember watching that, <laughs> uh, looking at that photograph going, is this motherfucker for real? He really tweeted that? I love Hispanics? And he's eating a fucking taco bowl? Well, the open desk drawer, somebody focused in on it, and they realized, this is like years later, they realized that it's all filled with Sudafed. And Sudafed is, again, the active ingredient, the, you know, one of, the, one of the ingredients in Sudafed is the active ingredient in meth. And so apparently people take Sudafed and if you take that stuff, it gives you like a little bit of a buzz. And if you take large doses of Sudafed, it's essentially like taking, like he's microdosing, he's so microdosing meth. It's actually a little deeper than that, which makes it even funnier. He, deeper. Yes, because there's a certain form of Sudafed that they sell in the United States. And then there's a UK version of Sudafed. Ooh. And the UK version of Sudafed has that uh, ingredient to it, which is more... More of an upper, it kind of acts like an amphetamine. Look at this. It says the desk drawer full of Sudafed, including boxes in New York per purchased on the UK, indicate yep, that the legal limits of purchase are being circumvented and that the then candidate Trump was abusing Sudafed for its high rather than its decongestant effect. Okay, so there's wow. that. Now, I, I want to take it a step further because I don't know if you watched this video I sent you a while ago, but I was absolutely floored by. The contrast between the speech Trump gave at CPAC this year yeah. and then the speech Trump gave at the UN this year. The CPAC one, Joe, totally off script, bouncing off the walls, an hour and 30 minutes, hands yeah. moving all over the place, yeah. so active, so engaging, making jokes, all this stuff, hilarious. And then you go to the UN speech, Joe, he's talking like this, and yeah. he says that. And he literally, he was Slurring. so tired. He couldn't even say the word sovereignty. He quit halfway through it. He was like, and that's why we need to protect sovereignty. Yeah. And so I, if you want to pull that up, Jamie, if you want to watch some of it, well, you can I see the contrast. Pacman's show. Pacman had, David Pacman had a, an episode where he was concentrating on this alleged drug use by Trump. And he showed the contrast of him sniffing at the d debates with Hillary Clinton. Yep. And he did a, a, yeah, this whole conglomeration of all of his sniffing moments. This, uh, 
And, and let me just say, in, in Trump's defense, if I was president, I'd be taking some shit too, because that's a tough job. <laughs> and also, don't lie, when he does a rally and he's high as balls on an upper, yeah. they're entertaining. Oh yeah. And I'm the first one on the left to admit, his Twitter feed, I feel bad sometimes because he genuinely makes me laugh. He gen- <laughs> I remember, I'll never forget the morning I woke up and I go on Twitter, which is like part of my morning routine, and the first words I see are from the President of the United States. And it says, washed up psycho Bette Midler. <laughs> and I just saw that first part of the tweet and I broke down laughing. It was the funniest no, look, thing he ever. He makes me laugh all the time. He's done a bunch of shit on his Twitter that you're just like, this motherfucker is crazy. Yeah. What was the ones that we were talking about recently that he did? Was it a... J- or he tweeted something was bullshit. Yeah. I don't remember what he was saying was bullshit, but like that he tweeted those words was pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah. Well, his Trumpisms, like the little side things that he always does makes me laugh. Like the all caps randomly. Yeah. Or sometimes he'll capitalize letters for no reason in the tweet. Well, it was great when he was the fucking host of The Apprentice. Yeah. That's when it was great. Yeah. It was like he was an entertaining character. It's just now that he's the president, it's like, whoa, 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 this is real? (laughs) 